What totally obvious scam do people still fall for? Anything where the government is asking for gift cards as payment. The websites that lets you bid on expensive shit for cheap prices. Madbids for example. You can bid on a camera for as little as a dollar but in reality you always be outbidded by a bot. Until you spend money on the autobid credits that lets you automatically outbid the bot. You might end up paying $50 for a $200 camera but you would have paid $180 in autobidding credits as well. This is your boss. Yes I'm calling you from a phone that you don't have saved in your contacts. I need you to buy $1.000 oh, 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 in iTunes gift cards and send me photos of the codes through text. Unfortunately, this actually happened at my job yesterday. Your computer is infected with 7 virus. Click here to install immediately an antivirus and protect your computer. Edit. Added spelling, grammar errors in the scam. As some users pointed out. The IRS has said over and over again. And they say it every year. And it is on the news. Etc. We will never call you. Yet people fall for that all the time. Free CSGO skins website. PPL enter their Steam account details and end up losing their account as pishers use stolen accounts to cheat in games. Copy and paste this on your Facebook page to remove Facebook's right to your pictures and information. Always surprises me how stupid people can be. Making lists of personal information and posting it on a Facebook wall for data mining. They post massive lists with hundreds of entries sometimes. Favorite color. Mother's maiden name. High school. First car. Etc. Fit T. A niece exiled Nigerian prince contacted me by email. His royal family has been overthrown by the military who has blocked access to the bank accounts whilst they are in hiding. Fortunately their accountant still can access their wealth and they desperately need a foreign account to move the money so it can't be seized by the state until they are safe again. With amazing luck, they chose me in Australia to help them. Which I must for the generous offer of 25% of the millions they need to move as long as I provide my bank details and a scan of my passport just to confirm I'm real. If I don't help, I would never forgive myself. Apparently I'm their last chance as others have failed them and I'm to keep this just between the prince and I. I'm probably putting myself and the royal family at risk by discussing it on Reddit. But thought this post worthy of bringing awareness to their plight. We're the IRS. You owe us money and we demand you pay in gift cards. How anyone could continue to believe them once they demand payment in gift cards baffles me. Hello. Ma'am. I'm calling from the Internal Revenue Service to let you know we've discovered fraudulent activity on your social security number. So we're cancelling it. I used to be a 911 dispatcher and old people call all the time about scams. 1. They always think it's real but a family member made them call and ask us if it is. 2. Once they think it's not they want the local police to investigate. Um, yeah. Glenda. We don't usually investigate crimes that are originating from Nigeria here in rural Montana. 3. They often give them their social or address or other information before they call. Uh. Edit. Please don't call 911 for this. Notify the FBI if you want to tell someone. Edit number 2. People seem really upset that local police don't investigate these crimes. I didn't mean to joke and make it seem like these crimes aren't a big deal. Of course they are and it's vile and disgusting to go after old people. Like Glenda, who don't know better, like it or not, local police just don't have the resources to investigate these kinds of crimes. It would take access to IT, time, and money that they just don't have. It's unfortunate but true. There are just too many scammers. I really have no idea what kind of resources the FBI puts into each claim they get. Printer Inc. Give me $20 and it'll tell you. I love you. Please send me money so I can visit my dying sister in C-O-U-N-T-R-Y-N-A-M-E. I know I've only known you two weeks online, and we've never met in person. And I've called you from three different burner phones but that doesn't mean we don't love each other. Edit. I have never seen an episode of 90 Day Fiance. Obligatory thanks. Had a friend of mine fall for the deployed soldier scam she paid $8,000 in court martial fines for this person because they lost their primary weapon. Then came the gold scam. There was a package with stolen Iraqi gold that was being held at the border and she could get it all taken care of for $22,000 or go to jail. That's when she called me my wife and I looked through everything this person had sent her and figured out the whole thing was fake. The shipping company that was holding the package, the Canadian soldier wearing US Marine gear and badging, the court martial paperwork everything. 
It was kinda fun playing detective. But then we had to break it to her and keep showing her the evidence repeatedly. It took a few weeks of her calling and asking. But what if, before she really got it? All told she was taken for about $20,000. Would have been 40 if she hadn't have called when she did. It was brutal. Hello madam this is Mike RRRO Soft Josh speaking. From United States. Can I get her credit card details? Catfishing. MLMs. $399. 99 this chair is only $300. Local MILFs who want my cock. Scam emails. Send me this much money so I can free my funds and pay you back 10x. My father fell for this in 2013 underscore we had to get the RCMP involved to get him his money back. No they weren't on horses equals less than that's just ceremonial. Otherwise they're just federal cops. Using sex for identity theft. Either the classic. Horny singles in your area are begging to fuck you. Yes. You. Or something like e-girls who advertise a $30 fuck and say that will even drive out of state to get to you and ask you to either make a deposit first or give your credit card info. Sex apparently will always sell and you can take advantage of people with it. Edit. Found a pick for the second example. I mean. Come on. That just screams that it's a scam. Yet people will fall for it. Hello. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. My car is 20 years old and has 205k on the clock, there is no warranty. Honest to god how fucking dense does someone need to be to fall for? Send me iTunes gift cards or you'll be arrested? Edit. Wow this blew the fuck up so many stories but I read them all. I knew people still fell for this shit. Edit too. Holy cock thanks for the gold random stranger. Any of those videos that purportedly show all kinds of kitchen hacks. Some of them are fucking dangerous whilst others are just a waste of ingredients. If you leave a wooden spoon over the top of anything boiling to stop it boiling over, for example, you really should just turn the heat down and avoid potentially burning yourself on a really fucking hot utensil. It's not hard. No. You can't melt down gummy bears to make a jelly, jello. Why even try when jelly, jello is fucking cheap anyway? Avoid anything that blossom or yummy post. I am sick of explaining to people on Facebook that they are horse shit. If it looks too good to be true, then it almost certainly is. Just learn to do things the old-fashioned way. Edit. It seems that laying a spoon across a boiling pot is a much older habit than I realized. I have worked in kitchens for close to two decades and never saw any chefs do it. But I have seen both my sister and housemate try it to utterly miserable results. So please folks, learn to boil with more of a low and slow mentality in mind. Measure your produce and add the correct amount of water. Too many people seem to fill a pot up to the brim and that is just asking for disaster. Mom saying she won't be mad if I tell her. I am a prince. Some idiot here in Denmark fell for it and got scammed for $300. Oh oh oh. Televangelists. I was raised in the cult and even I don't get it. Edit. Thank you very much for the silver medal. Edit too. Thank you very much for the BKS UP award. I will happily accept all blessings. The grabber machines at arcades. Psychics. Those assholes take advantage of people's insecurities to rip them off. Phishing emails. This game will make you come in 30 seconds. Casinos. Make $10. Oh oh oh. Oh oh oh. Working one hour a day from home. Guy in our village gave his online. Girlfriend. 10k to help her out but she was rich and would pay him back. She said she'd use the money to come visit him as well. He hasn't heard from her in months and is still convinced she's on her way. Phone calls from the IRS. The IRS doesn't call you. Not really a scam but back when Girl Scout cookies cost $4 a box we would always tell people. It's $4 a box or 5 for 20. And so many people would decide to buy 5 based off of that didn't work nearly as well once they became $5 to say. 4 for 20. Somehow people do the math a lot easier that way. And yes people really truly assumed this was a savings. A few times people even said. Nah I'll pay full price I don't need a deal. And we were like lol you already were. By the way every Girl Scout Council prices their cookies differently if you're confused by those prices. Lots of people don't understand that nearly every MLM is a pyramid scheme. Some of them actually have good products. I grew up on Tupperware. My mom supplemented her income by selling Mary Kay. And Anway has really decent soap. 
Unfortunately many or even most of them are so focused on recruiting other people into the company and not selling the product. And that is where the pyramid starts to collapse. Paying tons of money for small bottles of water. Hot women in your area want to chat. Just enter your bank account details here to start chatting. Ponzi schemes. Answering telemarketer calls. It doesn't matter if you immediately hang up just don't fucking answer it at all. Edit. Oh I forgot. I also set my voicemail as the pacer test intro as an extra fuck you. Adulthood. You can't convince me that we all looked forward to this. Joel Olstein. Astrology. Essential oils. Crystal healing. Reiki. Psychic readings. All that snake oil stuff. Did somebody say. Pyramid scheme? 